Welcome everybody. We are in the French national final, sort of. Uh, we only had three players sign up, so we expect those three players uh, to be the national team. Yeah, potentially. I guess Johan's mentioning here, maybe the bot will make the national team. You never know. Uh, the first game we'll play, though, is France, progressive 70%. Uh, we'll play it as a true three-player game, no bot. Um, so this should be wild on a very small map. Uh, playing with three players. So you can see your French national team will be General Ben, Lena Kitty, Nesta189. Uh, should be a really good group. Lena Kitty, one of the top players in the world, uh, constantly finishing at the top of tournaments. Uh, someone you don't want to see pop up in your tournament uh, group. And the other two I am less familiar with, but we will see. Yeah, we're only doing a bot in the second game just to uh, for settings purposes. See how aggressive these guys play it uh, with a three-player game. We are going to crown a French national champion out of this. For those of you that don't remember the 70 fixed France game that we played, the way the... Uh, I guess I got everybody cut off a little bit. I can adjust this for you. Hold on. like that there we go I think that's I think that seems fair we'd play with a French bot no one wants to mess with a French bot uh, for those of you that don't remember that middle bonus is a plus five and then the plus two up top that lean is holding it'll be interesting to see how these guys play with bonuses here it'd be interesting because they're gonna be teammates soon Eastern France here in the top right is a plus three. Southern France in the bottom right is a plus two. Southwestern France in the bottom left is a plus three. Western France on the left is a plus four. So the two being held right now is the plus two by Lena and the plus five by Nesta in the middle of the board. I don't think it'll become a stalemate. Not this not this set of settings. Progressive 70 is really hard to create a stalemate. Lena guards the bonus. I was going to do this all in French, but I knew some of our listeners don't speak French, so I'm just sticking with English for this one. Nesta gets to keep the big plus five in the middle. Ben's going to play without a bonus, it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, I can't speak any French at all, so if you couldn't tell my sarcasm there. Um, I'm just the average American that speaks one language and barely that one language. <laughs> yeah. Ben may be looking at that bottom left bonus, but there's a four of Lena's in there, and Lena's not going to move out anytime. Yeah, wee wee. I do know wee wee for sure. Um, I'm sure I know some other words. Au revoir. I know au revoir. Merci. Bonjour. Sure, bonjour. Anything you can learn from Beauty and the Beast, I, I probably know. Je, oh yeah, cause, uh, je m'appelle, je m'appelle Mitch, I think is my name is Mitch, I'm pretty sure. Glad you, always, you all came here for the French lessons. Je n'est pas Paris France. Francais. The classic baguette, yeah. These, uh, 
Lena's going to love when she watches this back and realizes we were all just butchering French the whole time. It's better than when we talk during the English games and just butcher their risk play, though. We're just ruining a language here. Okay, so Lena and Nesta get to hold their bonuses. General Ben not having a bonus, but we are playing progressive. Uh, progressive 70 here. General Ben seems content just to stay in a few different places around the board. They're also getting to kind of know their teammates here. They have a little bit of a, an advantage on some other nations that they're getting to play a, a match where they're all through and they just get to kind of get a feel for each other's game style here. The way this map will likely work, uh, they're not going to get too big of a troop difference between any of them. Um, so the trades, the trade amounts will be a big deal. We'll see if Nesta card skips. That's one option since he's getting the plus five. What do you guys think? Should Nesta card skip since he's holding the plus five? Should? Yeah. I kind of think so too. No one's really threatening the plus five. I mean, Ben could break it, obviously, but no one's really shown any interest in breaking. Yeah, I think so too, Mr. Buzz. And a biggest bonus, it's not just like one troop more, it's three troops more than Lena's bonus. We did not see a skip there from Nesta, so Nesta's going to play it straight up. Cool. They requested to play the final so that they could crown a national champion. And technically, if someone showed up, one of the other two players showed up in game two or game three, they would uh, they could jump in. And that was the 70%, huh? Lena Kitty goes for the 70. Uh, so not a stalemate scenario. I think I got to set up this next game for them. Let me make sure we get Lena's win in there. I need to jump into my risk app and set this up. Okay. I think I need to set him up an Africa game here. Seventy percent fixed. The lobby, I will bot out if we figure this out.
Yeah, Lena gets the fast 70% run. Again, Lena, in my opinion, top five player in the world. I'm willing to debate with anyone, but top five player in the world. Okay, we got everybody. Nest. Oh, I messed up Nesta's color choice. Hold on. Let's see if Nesta switches again. I forgot Nesta was purple. I caused this myself this time, so I can take the blame. All right. Cool. I will uh, update Nesta to the right color. Please remind me to bot if I forget. Uh, let me do that. Cool. All right, so the only point so far, Lena getting the 10 uh, for the win. No bounties taken in game one. Oh, shoot. I can't bot without losing the stream. I can't believe I forgot this again. Does anyone know of a way that I can bot without ruining the stream here? Nobody does, right? I can't forfeit and spectate, right? Do I just pretend to bot out? So, oh, I can grab bins though. I think that'll work. Okay. But I got to bot out like right away, right? Give me a second. There's going to be a little technical difficulty here, but we're going to get it figured out. So I just need to switch back over to this. Oh my gosh, that was so seamless. Tell me you're not impressed. Just bins that like a wide true professional. That's right. Like I knew what I was doing the entire time, right? Okay, so uh, we got a bot here in Africa. Blue is a bot, just to remember. Um, three player game. Africa pretty spawn dependent. The bots the bot spawn was actually fantastic. I didn't even look at that. Look at where the bot's at in Africa. That's right where you want to be, being able to cut off that bottom half of the map. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely challenges that... Uh, I probably make look like I know what I'm doing, but I'm just... I'm guessing. But thank you for that, Johan. The bot's going to be a big problem here, guys. The bot having nine troops right in the center of the map and the other four to the right there um, is going to cause all kinds of issues. Only 10 points on the board so far also. Uh, so getting a bounty could be a big deal if you're trying to get that championship. Hey, thanks for the follow, Der Diplomat1701. Appreciate you. Okay, so the bot wants that bonus that Lena's got a 7 in. She's got to move that 7 out of there. But the bot's rolling down some troops. That's going to help.
I know. I'm sorry. The American. Well, the tricky part, the real tricky part for you guys is the Australians and New Zealand ones because they like to play really late. They all wanted to play five o'clock uh, UTC matches. But the Americans uh, will line up a little better at three o'clock. Yeah, they're late for you guys. But there'll be a early risk starting tomorrow. Let me tell you guys the schedule for tomorrow for you Europeans out there. That'll be going to bed soon. Uh, so Johan will get us started early tomorrow at 1300 UTC with Poland. Then we'll have a 1500 UT, uh, UTC Central America and the Caribbean. 1700 UTC will be Northern Europe. 1900 UTC will be Yo Johan playing in uh, his Netherlands final. 2100 UTC will have the Canadian National Final. And then at 3 o'clock UTC tomorrow, we'll have the Mexican National Final. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 National Finals tomorrow. Yeah, that's brutal. It's so funny. When you start dealing with time zones, you realize, like, I have to realize I've got to talk to certain groups at certain times of the day uh, if I want them to respond anytime soon. I've really gotten better at time zones through doing this. If we could all just follow the American time zone, it'd be way easier for me, actually. I don't know if you guys can talk to your governments or who needs to know, but that'd be helpful. It just seems easier if we could just all follow ours. Okay, so we see the break of Lena. Ben not letting Lena have the bonus this time uh, after getting burned in France. Yeah, exactly. If you just work during the night, uh, you could offices could spend less on less on their AC, right? Uh, because it'll be cooler during the workday. The bot is dominating this one. Central Africa is the bonus to have on this map. Almost impossible to hold. No way they let the bot hold that. Lena would only do it as a joke, I think. Because that bot is going to crush her next turn if she lets it get that bonus. Uh, they're playing for a national title, Riedel. National title. Uh, so the winner will be the uh, French national champion. Also, technically, if one of the other two players uh, shows up during the next game, they could play game three. But mostly for the, the role of national champion, it is a role we're giving to each national champion. They'll also be commemorated in the Hall of Fame on the server and on the website. Uh, which will be up a little later this weekend. Also to get some practice in because they would like to defeat the Germans as I understand it. Yeah, this bot may get some points here. That'd be wild to see a bot bounty in the four player game. <laughs> Just hopefully they don't have a bot national champion. That would be bad. That'd be a bad look. Ben going for kind of a spread. Moves the 15 into Madagascar, which Lena does not like. Yeah, technically there's no bots in finals, Johan. If we had a four player game, we would not have bots. And we won't have bots except for game two because it just kind of is necessary. One, because they needed the map, but two, because when you're playing a 70% fixed three player, um, 
could get bad. But yeah, any any of the nations the rest of the weekend that have four show up uh, will have no bots. And even if you have six signed up and one of yours doesn't show up, we will not fill with a bot. You'll just play a five-player game. So no bots in finals. The bot breaks Nesta. Retakes that Central Africa bonus. Lena sitting next to the 15. Sixth player is out or in team two. Uh, so in the scenario of like the Netherlands, if uh, the sixth player doesn't show up for finals, they would go into team two. That's correct. If your nation has two teams. Now, if there's a waiting list player, like Pete's on the waiting list for Canada, so he would jump into the Canadian final in that scenario. Hey, we got another Dutch player in here. The earliest the two German teams can play each other is in the World Cup finals. Yeah. The, early, the earliest a U.S. team could play each other is in the semifinals. Uh, so your reserves will be your uh, fourth place finishers from your semifinals. Do you know? Do you remember who your fourth place finishers are in semifinals? That's who will be your reserves. They'll get first uh, right of refusal on that reserve position, on the alternate position. Yeah, I can't remember who they were. The bot still dominating up to 32% of the board. Yeah, I really don't remember. It could be. Uh, the highest scoring fourth place player for the Netherlands will be the alternate on Netherlands team one and the Yelmer. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So Yelmer will be uh, team one's alternate and Jentha will be uh, team two's alternate player. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. Agreed. So the way the alternates work, uh, you'll get one free time to uh, fill in. So if the team needs you to fill in one time, no harm done. If they need you to fill in a second time, they'll have to kick one of their official players off and you'll be officially on the team um, once you play that, once the alternate player plays a second game. We seeing a 70 run or a kill of the bot? Must be a 70 run, right? It's a kill of the bot for three cards. Okay, so Ben gets five points on the uh, bot bounty. A little bit of lag there, maybe because I have my risk app also going. Maybe I should stop that. Maybe that will help. Okay, so what can he do from here? Uh, that looks like Nesta got the 10 trade. He's at 68 troops. Ben's down at 44 troops, so I don't think he immediately gets eaten. We really, really hope this doesn't turn into a stalemate. But I think we'll see a 70 run before that. Yeah, the six on five maybe, you get lucky. Could go the five on four up in the right. Not a lucky roll on the six on five. Oh, another bad roll. Can get around the corner, should get it. There we go, Nesta gets the run, gets to 15 points. That was the one I was most worried about. Uh, stalling out with uh, three players.
So there you go. Nesta gets uh, 10 points. So now we have a tie with Nesta winning the tiebreaker currently. Sitting at 10, Lena Kitty at 10, General Ben at 5, going into game 3. All up in the air. Not really a strategy to uh, feed it or hit anybody specifically at this point, right? Uh, pretty much winner take all in game 3, don't you guys think? Whoever wins this game basically wins it. Because if you win it, you get 15 points. So yeah, it's all going to come down to game 3 here. It's a progressive world dom on world conquest for game three. There we go. Yeah, it should be good. Uh, just going to have to play it straight up, winner take all. Uh, Ben's at a little bit of a disadvantage, but because he has the five... Um, He's basically in the same position as everybody else. Because they've really got to get to 20 um, to tie Ben if he were to win with minimal points. And getting to 20 means getting four bounties if you're not winning. And it's going to be really hard to get four bounties in a three-player game. As I understand it, that would be tough. So it's winner-take-all here for the French National Championship. Again, World Conquest, we're playing a World Dawn Progressive game here. They start with uh, 35 troops and 16 territories, except Ben gets 15 territories. This is a bonus play for South America. Moves the three down. Uh, moves the three over to South America. Okay. Goes with the uh, greedier fortify there. Okay, Lena would like Australia. Rolls a four on two, turn one, gets perfect dice. Goes for the break, gets greedy. No, they're going to work together there. Ben must feel left out at this point. Both small bonuses on the map have been taken. Africa is still tough to take here with seven troops sitting in it. Ben is in trouble. Unless he just goes for a couple breaks, he could do that. What's up, Speedster? Thanks for the uh, thanks for the raid. Are you guys watching a bunch of caps risk? Was that what's just happening? This is basically the same as a caps game. This is a three-player world dom progressive game, so very similar. What's up, Ali? Eldritch. We've got uh, Nesta 189, Lena Kitty, and General Ben 16500 playing for the French National Championship here. Uh, it's a winner take all final game in World Conquest. They're playing World Dom um, Progressive Cards. Three player game. Turn one, Nesta was able to take South America, and Lena was able to take Australia. General Ben has been kind of left out in the cold without a bonus. No, we had five people sign up, Speedster. Three showed up for finals. 
Yeah, Lena's French. Yep. Uh, so this will be your, your French national team you're uh, dealing with speedsters right here. Nesta, Lena, and General Ben. Three grandmasters. Aries, you just want to play as France? Yeah. I tried to get Mr. Buzz to just denounce Germany and play for France, but wouldn't go for it. They're playing for a national championship speedster. They want to be the French national champion. But yes, they do auto qualify. <laughs> I'm not saying the French backed out, and I would like that not to be attached to me. I did not say the French backed out. Yeah, the U.S. tournament was tough. You're still in GM. That's awesome. GM is also a very tough tournament. Okay, so uh, General Ben is going to get the bonus there in Africa. Leaves a threat stack? No, moves up to North Africa. Uh, Germany had 12. 12 play. Norway plays this weekend, um, and I think they have five signed up for their national final in Norway. The French did not back out. They just had two no-shows. They just had two no-shows uh, for their final, so they've got three players to play for the final. Three really good grandmasters that are going to play uh, for France. Including Lena Kitty, who I think is top five in the world. Uh, six of the 12 actually ended up qualifying Alley. Uh, so there's two German national teams, a Germany one and a Germany two. Brand applied? What does brand applied mean? Lena would like a second bonus. Looking to take Europe, but doesn't fully take it. Uh, we have a running gag with the French. Okay, gotcha. Eastern Germany and Western Germany. No, we did not split it Eastern Germany and Western Germany for obvious reasons. I think that goes unsaid. Uh, Grandmaster has nothing to mean. Yeah, I agreed. Rankings matter less and less. Um, with the the way the ranking system works i agreed that rankings matter less and less um in my opinion part of what matters is tournament finishes lena kitty always um there at the end in tournaments it seems like what is the national uh okay so a week from tomorrow is the world cup uh draw where we'll actually uh set up the seven groups of national teams that'll be playing each other that's a week from saturday um, then that week after that, during that week, uh, we will start the uh, World Cup finals. A round four game, someone fed my kill and then sent me a screenshot of him making GM. <laughs> but, but Speedster, did you congratulate him on making GM or no? Yeah, we're doing the draw here. So as long as everyone comes, uh, we should be good. That way we can have some people help with the drawing of the names. You did not congratulate Speedster. Yeah, like the international part. Yeah, I knew what you meant. I'm having trouble with terminology too. I'm calling them national qualifiers and World Cup finals to split up the two sections. But yeah, that'll start... Um, in two weeks, basically. So a week from tomorrow is the draw. We have 37 national slash regional teams uh, that'll be in the draw. So there'll be seven groups in the seeding round. So Red tried to feed you first, Speedster? You weren't playing as Red? I just set on three, but knew I wouldn't die. 
Oh, that's painful. That's why I think all tournaments should be multiple game rounds. I don't know if I'll ever get anyone convinced of that, but I think all tournaments should have multiple game rounds. I do like the French dice there from Nesta. Very on brand. How have the uh, Kill Pete Open matches been going, guys? I've got mine on sp uh, tomorrow night, late tomorrow night. It's not a 70%, Mr. Buzz. Yeah, so Lena's at 70 troops, 69 troops. Someone should dab for that. No dab. That's a missed opportunity there. But Lena dominating with five cards. Significantly more troops. Lena, very greedy player, getting uh, what she wants here. I think my match is at... 9 p.m. So 9 p.m. here is 2 o'clock UTC, which is like super, super late for you guys. Playing round four in second trade, someone took a chance and went for pretty much messing everyone up. I gotcha. Aries has never lied in the tourney. Hey, Aries, what's the map uh, command again? I couldn't remember it earlier. Is it just uh, exclamation point map? 2 UTC is 4 AM. Yeah, I'll put it up on YouTube. You can watch after. It's just map? Okay. I couldn't remember if it was just map or like map info or something. So if I do map and then world conquest. Oh, you did it. Nice. That's a really cool feature. I got to make sure I use that all weekend. I love the value of the card number. Tells you how valuable a card is in this scenario. And the odds of the sets. And the 70%s really help on the 70% games. For the people that aren't nerds and memorize them all. Okay, so Nesta now has North America and South America. Ooh, is this the kill on Ben? I think this is the bounty on Ben for Lena. You can also do set on three. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a kill of Ben for Lena Kitty. Goes to 15 points. That's still not going to secure the win. Spectate Ben. Spectate Ben. Now we'll never know. Oh, we got it. Okay. Pretty sure Lena finishes this puppy up. Can't finish it up here. But it can cause some problems. Doesn't open up the 11. Gets the break without having to open up the 11. More data and set and set on. Gotcha. I think this is Ares built this bot, Johan. That's true. The 11 is open to the other side. I just meant to the stack, but you're right. The 11 is open. Yeah, Ares just manually crushed it all. It's really cool stuff. We will, after this match, try to get... Uh, couple of these guys in the chat so we can talk a little French World Cup plans we'll make them speak English okay so Nesta's gonna take back Europe Lena's on five cards but the trades are still really low Uh, yeah, the only reason for the final is to crown a national champion. Yeah. You think one of them doesn't know English? I did notice um, the 
if I was ranking Dutch, uh, French, and German players and how much they speak English in their chats, the Dutch speak the most English, Germans second most, and French the least amount of English that they speak in their chats. Lena takes back a bunch of the map. Nest on one card has no bonuses. Um, so we are uh, nearing the end of this one. Yeah, you bet. Give me that dude trade. Okay, depends on the age. French people under 30 know some English words. Oh, if they're over 30, they just pretend not to know English. Got it. Got it. They just seem uh, less interested in using English in their chats. Which, I'm not saying anything, because literally I know only English, so... You guys are way more cool than me, but... I just have noticed that as kind of a trend. <laughs> they love pretending not to know. <laughs> Do you think they pretend not to know to try to get you to talk crap on them in English and then they can surprise you by knowing it? Is that kind of the logic or they just don't want to make your life easier? Yeah, it could be a problem for Lena if there's a set on three, but another turn still to go. And the cleanup is tough, uh, with trades being this low still. Lena's, I mean, crushing it, doing the best you possibly can, I think, with the the number of troops. They just don't want to speak English. Okay. Ah, because of the accents, it's harder for them to learn the English. Okay. I I think that's fair. I think it's easier for us to speak German than than French. Partially because of accents. All you have to really do for an accent in German is just yell more. Is generally how it works as I understand it. Just be more angry with your speech. And that's it. Lena Kitty gets the win. Lena Kitty, the French national champion, uh, getting the win here. And we'll see if we can get anybody to talk a little post game with us. And we got General Ben in here. Come to waiting room to talk post game. Again, Lena Kitty with the win in France, your French national champion. Move to. Ah. Lena and Ben, can you hear me? Oh, Lena and Ben, can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Oh, you're both muted? But ben is muted. Okay, you're yeah. unmuted. I don't know why you were muted. I didn't mute you. Lena, uh, pretty confident that whole time? Oh, Ben left? Uh, I think Ben went to the waiting room, as you asked. And oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. Neutralized. I'll move him back. Uh, okay, I think he's back. Yeah, Ben is muted, probably. To, okay, now. Hey, there no, we I'm go. Muted, no. Hello, Ben. Been uh, pretty happy with your performance against Lena there? Yeah, that was pretty unlucky. Okay. Of my games. L unlucky on spawns? Uh, like, game three. I didn't have any continent. And yeah. They both got it on their first turns and you were kind of left out in the cold there. Uh, plus I didn't have any setting before. Yeah, it was uh, uh, a little bit bad. <laughs> yeah, but to be uh, fair, yeah. like, you were unlucky because like, you had also like troops in the bonus I took. And I got like super good dice. Yeah.
Um, okay, so then in France, you guys just decide to let Nesta hold the big bonus in the middle? Uh, I was hoping white, uh, so Ben would remove it. Like, because Ben broke my bonus early on yep. the right side. Yep. So I was thinking, like, if Ben breaks a plus three, I'm the, like, and Ben was playing between me and uh, Nesta, so I was thinking, like, ben, Ben's probably gonna break the plus six as well. And that's why I, like, I let Ben, like, I, I let the job to Ben, but Ben didn't do it. Gotcha. I was thinking is, since uh, Lena got uh, a win from the first game, Gotcha. Yeah, I understood that's what I Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And then you blocked you blocked the bonus by putting the big stack in Madagascar there. And by the way, you could kill on the bot and then I was just unlucky to not be the player playing after you. <laughs> yeah. Turn order gotcha there. Oh yeah, turn order was so bad for this game for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, three-player games are pretty weird, so you guys won't play anything like this. You guys feel pretty good about your uh, team going into the World Cup? Based off of uh, what you just saw? Is. Yeah, pretty good. I think... Yeah, I mean, uh, I think both of them showed, uh, like, because obviously I didn't know any of them, so, but both of them showed, like, that they're actually good players, I think. Have you guys played together at all before? No. None? Okay, good. That'll, uh, oh, we got Nesta joining now. Okay, hold on. Nesta, welcome. Can you hear us? Nesta, mute as well. Nesta, unmute yourself. Nesta, are you there? Nesta. Okay, so real quick question. These guys were asking in the in the chat a lot. Uh, the European teams that you guys would least like to face in the World Cup? Uh, we're the best team. Low. <laughs> You're confident Fran France is the best team. I like no, that. No, no. I, I, I'm not confident we are the best team. I'm just memeing, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't feel that scared of anyone. I mean, there are some great teams, but yeah. Not that scared. I like it. I mean, yeah. We're just going to, I mean, for me personally, I'm just going to take the games one by one and see, like, how far we can make it. Yeah. And yeah. Now, now that the team is set up, uh, I'm probably going to try to talk strategy with the... Yeah, talk players. a little strategy. Lena, which of the three settings do you like best, like, in terms of the 70 prog, 70 fixed, or, or world dom? Uh, prog. Well, obviously this one is a very different like uh, version because it's only three players. Right, right. But in general, like heading into the World Cup, when you're playing, when you guys are picking which settings you're taking, are you gonna want the the World Dom Prog, the seventy Prog, or the seventy Fixed? I didn't think of it too much yet. Okay. Uh, I do love the seventy percent games. I think World Dom Prog is very. Uh, random in general okay but because of the bounties and everything uh like if you're trying to achieve five points it's absolutely not the same as if you're trying to win and because some players are gonna be trying to get like five points or to kill this this player because this is the only one that can pass them or like right like that right i think the world dumb game will be a very very weird game it'll always be weird yep agreed and so yeah so you but would rather play the kind of straight up seventy percent prog game, probably. I don't know. I I don't have like I I didn't make my mind yes. Okay. yet. Okay. Okay. What about you, Ben? What uh what do you prefer? Oh, I think we have Nesta unmuted also now. Okay. Because I usually I I I don't do I don't play much on something. Person. Okay, yeah. Um, so you're mostly world dom? Yeah. Nesta, can you hear us? Do you guys want to ask him in French? Does he maybe not speak English? I think he does. He was in the chat in English. 
uh, he might just be ignoring us. I don't know. Okay, but we can't hear you. Okay, fine. I guess you can interview in a. Like, you. you can talk during the interview, and next I can write. Can you guys hear him? I can't hear him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we can't hear Nesta. Oh, but, okay. Uh, but Nesta can write in chat when you. Oh, Nesta gotcha. I don't think Nesta's in chat, though. Oh, he. Okay, I got you in the Discord chat. Yeah, in Discord gotcha. chat. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, let me look. I was like, I haven't seen Nesta. You say anything? Oh, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, Nesta, you want to give us any uh, thoughts on your on your teammates so far? You like that they were nice to you and let you keep the plus five in France, I assume. <laughs> oh yeah, oh th that game. Oh yeah, I, I thought you were talking about the second game when you were talking about the big bonus in the middle. No, the the plus five in France. He got to take the the three territory one. You guys let him hold that when you had your plus two up top. That game, like, uh, for me, like, I just let, uh, let Nesta hold because I thought if I break it, that's very expensive for me and it will uh, lower my chances to go for a kill or 70%. Okay. But if I leave him be, I'm not very killable right now and I'm gonna try to set up for the 70% or a kill or both. Yeah, were you planning that really early 70 run the whole time? Was that kind of your goal on that one? Yeah, because of the settings, like a, short, yeah. a small map with three players always going to be like extremely fast for the 70%. Yeah. Like as you saw. And really hard to get and a bounty. It was actually very, very slow because no one, at least I didn't have a set on three. Right. Yeah, on a small and, map like that, for sure. And yeah, like it's, it's very, very easy to get the 70%. At some point, I also like, uh, like during a single turn, I put all my stack together. Uh -huh. And even say like, because uh, I was recording, I said like, uh, I'm leaving the seventy percent open, hoping that no one sees it. Yeah. Were you surprised oh, they didn't go it. for it? Uh, I mean, at some point, Nesta hesitated and like thought about it, and in the end, didn't go for it. Yeah. And I was a little bit scared uh, about it because I thought there was a small chance maybe, but. Yeah, uh, I didn't actually count, and I was more focused on me. And then the next turn, after I, I let it open for a turn, uh -huh. I did close it off a little bit for the next turn. Yeah, blocked because it. For the next turn, it was like, for sure, 70% uh, <laughs> if I don't close it. Yeah. Well, I don't think we got anything from Nesta. You guys got anything else you would like to say? Oh, Nesta's typing. Writing. He's typing. Uh, he was waiting for the bounty, okay. bad call. Okay, so he was waiting for a bounty in France. Yeah, at first I wanted to get the bounty and the 70% together because Nesta yeah. had like uh, over 30% of the uh -huh. territories so uh, I could have gotten uh, then plus the 70% but in the end I was a little too short so I decided to not go for the 12 stack on the left and take everything else gotcha. and only get the 70 Gotcha. Yeah, getting the bounty in that's going to be tough because there's just not a big enough difference in, in troop numbers. Yeah, it's, it's mainly because it's only three players. Yeah. Nesta said Lena was too fast for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did uh, act uh, as fast as I could. <laughs> yeah, went for the <laughs> early run. It was like a race. Yeah, knew it was going to be early. Cool. You guys got anything else? Sorry for the weird final, but congrats on making the French national team. I'm really happy to be part of the French national team. I hope we can do well, or yeah. at least like kind of well, like go go for a few rounds and see how far we go. Yeah, I think you guys got a great shot. I mean, I think you're all three good players. That's the good part is all three that showed up are really good players. So um, you guys should have yeah, a strong team. I, was, I must confess, I didn't expect uh, the players to be too good because, like, I was just like, okay, those are two players I don't know. Yeah, you've never so played with them. Yeah. I, I was taking like the like as average risk players and I think they've showed today that they are both like way better than average. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah. Very cool. Well that's uh that's it if you guys are good. Yeah, thank you. Thanks guys. Thank Thanks for streaming for me, Ben. Well. Yeah, you got it. We'll see. Uh a week from tomorrow is the draw. 
Um, so you'll get to see which group you're in, uh, playing most likely a bunch of other European teams for the first uh, seeding round. So we'll see you guys then. Okay, so first round is going to be a seeding round, so no eliminations. Right? Exactly. There'll be no. So uh, there'll be seven groups in the seeding round. Um, all seven group winners will get an automatic buy through the first elimination round. So if you win your group, you get an automatic buy through that first elimination okay. round. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So big incentive to get uh, first in your seeding round, but no one gets eliminated through the seeding round. So. Perfect. Cool, guys. Thank you. Hey, GG's, and uh, thank you for hosting again. You got it. All right, that is uh, a wrap on the French National Final. We've got a, a quite a big break. We've got two hours and 45 minutes until um, we go into the New Zealand National Final. Uh, what time is the draw? That's a good question, Alcohol Parrot. Alcohol Parrot uh, will be in the uh, Scotland Final if we ever get it scheduled. Uh, the World Cup draw is June 17th, which is a week from tomorrow at 1500 UTC. There are 37 teams, national slash regional teams. Uh, so we'll have seven groups in the seeding round. Seven of those teams will get um, automatic buys into the uh, uh, first elimination, or automatic buys actually into the quarterfinals. They'll get automatic buys into the quarterfinals. Um, if you win your seeding round group, you'll get a buy into the quarterfinals. Everybody else will play in a first elimination round of 30, of 30 teams. So June 17th to 1500 UTC, which was should be so nice for you Europeans. Um, the only ones that's really tough on is uh, New Zealand and Australia and the uh, Eastern Asia teams. So 1500 UTC on June 17th will be the World Cup draw a week from tomorrow. You guys got any other questions before we wrap up for now? Before you guys all go to bed? Happy to answer them while I'm here. Nothing going once. Uh, we can do a raid out. If you guys have any recommendations for a raid out. Um, uh, we could raid out to Lena. Let's raid out to Lena. Oh, sorry, I have a question. Okay, go ahead, Allie. Go ahead. Some teams are missing names on the website. What do you mean some teams are missing um, on the teams page? Yeah, let's talk about that. Sure. We could do that real quick. Um, I think I have this set up right. Yeah, okay, so this is the website. If you go into info and teams, I think this is what you're talking about. These teams don't have their names in yet. Is that what you're talking about, Allie? Uh, so we will add the French team now. This will be added in the next hour or so. We'll get this up here. Uh, so the f three French players that you just saw, uh, Ben, Lena, and Nesta, will all be in this French spot. So these are all the national and regional finals we have left to play this weekend. So this is a bunch of risk uh, coming up this weekend. All of these teams will be decided um, this weekend. Yeah, qualifications finish this weekend. Um, through Monday, and then Scotland, I don't know when they're going to play, but Scotland's the one that we haven't scheduled yet, which could be sometime next week. But everybody else will be decided this weekend, like uh, New Zealand later tonight. We'll fill in these three spots. Australia's tonight. We'll fill in those. Uh, U.S. Team 1 and 2 will be filled in tonight. So uh, we are going to be filling this up through this weekend, and then you should be able to see all the teams basically by the end of the weekend on the website these teams uh, also get the roles so we'll add roles for your national team if you're one of your three national team players uh, you'll have a role that will ping you by for the tournament how is it decide who is on which team for countries okay so like uh for instance canada here is going to play a final tomorrow of six players and the three players that finish first, second, and third in the final will be on Canada 1. The three players that finish fourth, fifth, and sixth will be on Canada 2. Here to answer any other questions you got. Now's the time. Cool. We good?
Sounds good. Uh, so for those of you that are either staying up really late in Europe or uh, live closer to me, we'll be back at 1 o'clock UTC for the New Zealand National Final, followed by a simultaneous Australian National Final and USA National Final. USA started with 91 signups, and we're down to six tonight uh, fighting for that USA National Championship role or National Champion role. So it should be an awesome one. We'll see you guys in a little bit for now. Uh, we're going to set up a raid out to Lena, congratulate her on the uh, French National Championship, and we'll see you guys later.